Anime usually has a source it is adapted from. Sometimes it can be an original story, while others can be based off another property, such as manga, light novels, toys, or video games. Then when adapted, they can tell part of a story, the whole story, and something else entirely. For example, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood tells the complete story, but the 2003 version tells the story up to the manga at that point in time before diverging into its own. Some anime have their own take on a story, where it becomes part of a larger media mix, such as Persona Trinity Soul, which still has characters dealing with trauma and possessing Persona, but not based off any of the games except some slight nods and references. Same universe, but different story. Then there is True Tears. <laughs> The story behind the series is one I don't think I've seen happen before because it appears to be an adaptation sharing the same title, but nothing else. For context, this is PA Works' first anime series and is based off a visual novel called True Tears. The title was developed by Lacrima, a joint collaboration between developer Circus, famous for the The Capo series, merchandiser Broccoli, publisher Game Crab, and artist Rei Izumi. The visual novel was produced by Kazutoshi Matsumura, who wanted to return to the days of old Galge with a melodramatic tone. Thus, he wanted to tell a story where it was set in the fall of the protagonist's senior year in high school for the last few weeks, because it would mirror his own experience of being the worst time in his life. He would play as them and attempt to form relationships with the key heroines. However, each girl has a tears meter, and if you go past it, you cannot continue on that girl's route. So it was a visual novel where you needed to plan out your responses carefully. Due to the game being a success, a press conference was held where they announced various stuff in February 2006. It was intended to be a media mix project, so new lines of merchandise, console ports, and a manga were announced. But then as the curtains closed on the event, the big announcement came, and anime was in the works. They said it would air by the time the cherry blossoms bloom next year. So supposedly spring 2007, or maybe summer 2007, since he also mentioned riding the waves. So when that time came, the anime aired, right? Right? No, it didn't. Actually, there were no updates at all. You see, when they first announced it, they didn't mention any staff, such as the studio, writers, or any returning seiyu. So fans were left up in the air about what it was until more information came out. Thankfully, it came out at that summer's comic market, with a trailer and a date announcement of winter 2008, but there was a slight issue. It looked nothing like True Tears. Characters shared no defining features, setting was in Toyama Prefecture, and who is this PA Works? Some new studio? This most certainly can't bode well for the series, so what the hell happened? Unfortunately, not much is known. I scoured through interviews, commentaries, and magazines to see if I can find an answer. All that I could find is a couple interviews where one says production strayed from the original premise. This does make some sense as they licensed the game for an adaptation, and the credits still list Lacrima as the original work. And then another interview says they hired a writer to take hold of the new direction in February 2007, a month or so before the original air date. So it seems something happened during the planning stages and possibly whatever writer they had before was replaced for a non-disclosed reason. Speaking of that writer, director Junji Nishimura hired them due to working with them on prior projects. This new recruit previously wrote episode scripts and did some series composition, but never an original anime series. In fact, it would be her first. You may have heard of them, or you saw the title of this video, because her name is Marty Okada. True Tears is what Okada considers her turning point because after this, she started writing for many anime and working on her own original stories, such as Toradora, Anohana, and Hanasaku Iroha. It was on True Tears that she broke out and got her stepping stones from working with Nishimura and scriptwriter Mayumi Morita. In fact, while she had some creative liberties on the production, Nishimura and Morita were still the ones in the driver's seat. Okada had to tell him to rewrite scripts, which they obliged, but they rewrote it entirely instead of editing certain parts and ignored Okada's suggestions, making her irritable, especially when she had a different plan for the ending. More specifically, who the protagonist Shinichiro would end up with. Since there is only one other option, 
it's easy to assume Okada's vision for the ending. So, all the people on my anime list and Reddit who say, <laughs> Shinichiro shouldn't have ended with that sussy bitch thought horse tramp like Hiromi. Now you know who to blame. Nishimura and Morita decided that ending, and Okada went home in a fit of rage after the meeting with that decision in mind. However, she later apologized to them because they had a vision and anime production is a group effort. To this day, she still cites them as honorable mentor figures for her, and they kept her in check so she didn't keep suggesting ridiculous scenes, grounding her writing in a sense. Speaking of her writing, you can see some of her calling cards in True Tears. An outcast girl in the school mirroring her own childhood, fighting with parental figures stemming from her own mother and their lovers, key scenes of dramatic explosion, and using side characters as an allegory for the main story, such as with Raigomaru and Jibeta. You would see these appear again in other works, like Anohana and Anthem of the Heart, especially since those are based on her hometown. It should be no wonder that Okada's first series still carries through to this day with similar story elements. And that's how Truth Hero's adaptation was changed to an original story written by Mari Okada. It's a shame the fans of the original visual novel will probably never get an anime, but in return we did get the birth of Mari Okada that would set her on a path of excellency. Maybe one day we will know exactly what happened during production. To this day, Lacrima is still cited as the original work in the credits on events. For now, we can appreciate that the series serves as Okada's breakout. Actually, there's more to True Tears that I didn't mention here because the anime helped in another area. Tourism! This is a two-part video series, so come back next time when I tell how True Tears propelled a city into stardom due to the series setting and PA Works headquarters.